Hey entrepreneurs, how are you doing? Today I want to talk about how you can make money by investing in businesses. And in particular, I want to talk about the three different ways you can get involved in a business, help scale it, be a part of that success, and not get yourself all muddled up. So let's talk investing in startups. First up, pick a lane. Which way do you want to go? Which way do you want to be involved in the startup ecosystem? And the first of three ways that I want to describe to you is of course the obvious one first, how you invest in a business of your own. Now, first of all, I think you need to find a purpose, a reason for that business to be unique to you not necessarily filling a market gap, but filling a gap in you. So for me, for example, I started a business at 15 years old. I found it hard. I don't understand why anyone should be starting a business on their own. There's so much resources and knowledge out there. So that's why I started what I'm doing, the Purposeful Project, to fill a gap in me, not to fill a market gap. There was an argument that there's lots of things out there already helping people become entrepreneurs or learn entrepreneurship. But I felt myself compelled to bring that knowledge to the table. And then I started it very close uh, at the same time, coronavirus hit, which meant suddenly there was a huge market for what I wanted to do because a lot of people couldn't find a job or had lost their job or furloughed and they had an opportunity to rethink their lives and realize that perhaps they could be entrepreneurs. So investing in yourself is the first thing I wanna highlight. Investing in your own skills, investing in filling that hole, finding that thing you're meant to do, finding your purpose. I know it's cheesy, but finding that purpose in life is so key but giving yourself the chance to learn what it is you're meant to do, investing in you. That's the first business I always suggest people do. Don't invest in the stock market or even get a mortgage if you can help it. Invest in you. Now, there are two other models that I've seen work, personal experience, that I think could be really useful to you to understand. And the second model is you invest in someone else's idea. Now, initially, for a lot of people, you might hear someone else's idea and be either skeptical or scared of the risk and so on. But I have personally seen, if you invest in other people's ideas and then you help them, this can be really powerful. And helping them is, I think, uh, model number two. Model number two is you invest in that business and then you get involved in that business. Now, I've had it in where I've gone into someone else's idea and someone else's business, become a co-founder, being a part of the operations, in my case, taking on the marketing and business development and sales marketing role. And that has become my job and the business that I've invested in. So I didn't come up with the idea, it's someone else's idea, but I've got involved in it. And this is a good way to go. Now the third way you can go when it comes to building out a business or investing in businesses is just pure straight up investing in a company. Now this can be a bit like gambling. So again, what I suggest to people, if you're thinking of investing in startups, first of all, in my view, it's much more fun than investing in Bitcoin or the stock market. And there's a lot more control than when investing in Bitcoin or the stock market. When you invest in Bitcoin or the stock market, you can't influence what happens to Tesla stock. Elon Musk can influence what happens to Tesla stock. Elon Musk can influence what happens to Bitcoin. But generally, small fish like us, we're not gonna influence how those things move and the markets move. Even Elon Musk is influencing the market. He's, gonna, he's getting into trouble for doing that. You know, that's stock market manipulation by accident. So you don't wanna get into that game and you're in the game, I think, of investing in something that gives you purpose. So ideally invest in things that either link to your existing business and therefore you can support them or it's something you feel really passionately about. So for me I'm really passionate about helping people not wait for a job but create one for themselves. So I'm investing in all sorts of businesses that help enable that to happen. So I've invested in a camera company called Mevo. I've invested in a home education box business because I care about bringing education around financial literacy and entrepreneurship to people directly. And I will use my platform to do that but I will also invest in other people's to help them do that. So investing in things you know is also very smart. So perhaps if you know marketing, if you understand marketing, investing in businesses that are marketing driven and you can add value, that works. Now, there's one final thing I wanna make sure I make very clear. And all three of these options that you could go down to make your business 
investment world work and that is very important. So there's one more thing I want to explain to you before uh, I, you know, before we end this video. I want it, To me, it's crucial when you pick either of those three options I've just highlighted about startup investing, you really have to think hard about this one thing. To make it all work, you have to think about this one thing. Just before I tell you that one thing, if you find these sorts of videos useful, I'd really appreciate a like. If you think other people might find this insight on how to invest in businesses useful, then hit the share button. It would mean the world to me. It shows the algorithm that this content is useful. You know I'm competing against people that are charging for help. So when you share this content, it allows my content to get ahead of the people that are actually charging you for help. The courses and those sorts of people. I'm doing this all for free and the only thing I need is a like or share to make the algorithm realize this content's useful and make producing these videos worthwhile because it reaches enough people that find it useful. Final thing I want to say that's very important if you want to get ahead in the investing world is think carefully about your ethics carefully about what your moral code is when you get involved in businesses that ultimately will affect your personal brand and even how your life turns out so if you're investing in i know people that have accidentally invested through their pensions in tobacco companies or in oil companies i don't want to say whether or not those companies are bad or good i mean i have my opinion that they're bad but that's up to you to decide that I think you've got to pick things that aren't just about making money. I think you've got to pick things that make you proud. I've got a three and a half year old and I want him to know that I picked things that made his planet safer for him later, that made society stronger for him and others later. So maybe when picking your investment and one of those three routes I just picked out, do maybe think about personal brand, do think about the impact you could have by making that investment and do try to pick things that will make you sleep better at night because you know the number one thing in life in my view is not making money and i don't think you make money by investing in things that make you sleep badly you know so ultimately if you sleep soundly that's worth all the money in the world and if you do the right thing at the right moment with the right people it can be inspiring and exciting and money can't buy those things it can buy you a fast car and a short thrill but it will never buy you that long-term self-sustained excitement and joy that investing in something with purpose and spirit will bring you so i don't want to preach i just want you to dig deep inside and before you pick one of the three lanes i've just given you as potential investment strategies, maybe just think carefully about your purpose and your mission. Again, if you found this video useful, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you've got any questions about business, want to start a company, or you're struggling with your business right now, you can drop us a comment. We always reply to comments. One of our videos recently got 14,000 comments. We reply to every single comment. In addition, if you want any one-on-one -on -one mentorship, coaching, and support, which is all free within our network, you can sign up via thepurposefulproject.com. In addition, if you want to hear from the world's most successful entrepreneurs, you can check out our Purposeful Project podcast series via our website. That's it, folks. Have a wonderful day.